Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to another vlog. It's another day. I'm going to uh, get the car ready to go, get everything in here. Uh, Philip Wolf, um, he had came to a few challenges of mine already um, around the area. He lives around here in uh, near Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, him, his wife, his kids came to Maria's Cantina. Uh, the first one he came to, I think, was the uh, Cookie Canucks, and then Maria's Cantina, and then he showed up at the Saki, and I saw him again at the uh, Red Lobster Lobster Fest video that I had just po uh, that's just uh, posted. Uh, so he um, he's going to show up here. He tagged me in an event. Uh, a challenge uh they said some guy ate this thing in tw 23 minutes sorry about this uh he tagged me in something called 10th inning bar and grill it's in south haven uh mississippi so uh, some guy ate it in like 23 minutes so i'm going to go ahead and uh try to do that challenge here at noon um tasha's getting ready now we're about to head out and uh Hopefully I can get this within the 23 minutes um, or it's free. If not, then I think I have to pay for it. Or I might have another just the 30 minutes. It's not a record. Like you have to beat the record. So uh, we'll see. It's called the Showdown, I think. It might be the name of the burger. But I'll let you know when we get there. So let me get this uh, stuff situated in the car and head on out. <laughs> minutes um, I told them earlier what we was doing now but we got other a couple other stops I think we gotta go by the UPS store today it is Sunday but the UPS store is open it start opens at 12 so after this challenge uh, we'll go there and we need to go by Walmart because I didn't get to pick up all the items from Walmart last time so that is the plans for the day and whatever else may have happened Gonna put the, oh, this is a bar and grill, so what do you usually eat at a bar and grill? Like a hamburger or something? Oh, wings or something. Wings. Just depends on whatever. I don't know. Like some of our bar and grills are different here. They, they, uh, like some of them have fish, some of them have like gumbo and stuff. And so some of the, some of the ones here are not like traditional bar and grills. Somehow seafood. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's 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 something. Okay. Well, we just hit Mississippi. You guys don't know Mississippi's only like ten minutes from Memphis, Tennessee, and then Arkansas is like ten minutes. So if you want to rob a bank, not with her though, you can go to different. I don't think they care which if you go to state line what people think. No, they not gonna just stop by yeah. that. Yeah, oh, can't go past that line. Oh, uh, but uh, just get that done. There's nothing really else I have really planned. Planned. It was gonna be a dope. It was going to, today. Excuse me. Today wasn't gonna really be nothing. It was like I was just not gonna. But then, like I told him, Philip Wolf had tagged me in something last night on on the uh, Facebook post. So. I was going to do a challenge. Did you get Daryl to come or no? Uh, he said he's going to try to come. Okay. And her friend Daryl might come that works with her at the FedEx. And he said he wants to come to a challenge. Then no other friends. Rosie came to one. Melinda came to one. Who else? I Jennifer? Did yeah. cousin Jennifer did? Yeah. I didn't tell Melinda and Rosie because I figured they oh. weren't going to be able to make it. Okay. Okay. Well, we're about 
out there, guys. Um, I will update you when we get there. I really don't know exactly what this is. I know it's maybe called a showdown, and it's a burger with cheese, and that's about all. So we will see. I think the record might be 23 minutes. So we'll see when we get there. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. We'll show you. I know you saw it, but she got her hair did. I was waiting to see what. <laughs> see what what's what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're walking in now. I'm gonna get a, a shot going in for the uh, challenge video. Okay, I got um, Tasha picking her nose. <laughs> My nose running. Well, there you go, guys. You get to see her picking her nose. I already started the video. My bad. Uh, whoops. Well, um, I've uh, they got the game or something playing in the background. So, uh, um, we're waiting here. You're gonna wait for lunch. Yeah. You can look. Okay. They're serving brunch now until uh, 12 o'clock, and that's when I'm gonna do the challenge at 12. Um, it's short notice. I did post it just like an hour and a half ago, but I didn't um, I didn't actually uh, find out about it, and it wasn't in my schedule to do any other time, so I had to do it right now. So if you guys are in the Memphis area, uh, my bad. Um, but I did put chow time, but I'll be at chow time uh, tomorrow, that's a Monday, uh, at uh was it noon i think i said noon so i'll try I'll be, I'll be posting that again on youtube community news and on the facebook the garbage disposal page so um just sitting out here waiting trying to trying to stay warm here somebody is um got the, the uh, on the patio she thought it was gonna be warmer here <laughs> but the sun is kind of peeking up the over the building gonna be out more. yeah because i saw him basking in the sun. Yep. As much as she puts her hoodie on, I'll be the same color her in a minute. Maybe. Mm. Getting there. Okay. okay guys, well there's nothing else to do but wait. I think Philip Wolf will be here in a minute and his wife and maybe the kids might come. Uh, the Wolf fam Wolf Pack. You think they call themselves the Wolf Pack? I don't know. I probably you would if my last name was Wolf, wouldn't it? I'm sure you would. What? Okay, Wolf. Remember how Howie Mandel movie? Uh, uh, Raised by wolves. No. You remember that movie? No. You're only three years younger than me, but he was raised by wolves. So. I'm 21. <laughs> so you lie on Sundays. It's like the worst day to lie for a lot of people. Sundays, at least wait. I'm gonna be forgiving on today too. Oh, you better eat a fish sandwich for Lent and say three Hail Marys. Is that what they, not Hail Marys? Is that a football term? Hail Marys. That's a, Hail Mary. Ain't that a Catholic thing too? Okay, rosary beads, Hail Marys. Ain't that like a punishing sin thing? I don't know. You guys tell me in my comments because you tell me everything else about stuff. <laughs> I do like to comments. I do like to comment back, so. Um, please let me know. They said they're gonna try to have that burger ready for you right at 12, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, we're, we are here with uh, Philip, Mr. Wolf. Uh, we were just talking too. Do you call you guys a wolf pack? Wolf pack. Wolf okay. I said if I, my last name was Wolf, I would call myself a oh, wolf yeah. pack. You, you got to have it tattooed all over yourself. And everything, okay. So, yeah. Well, um, how did you find out about this challenge? Uh, I saw it on Facebook page yesterday. Uh, apparently, it's brand new, the Showstopper. And somebody had, had got it in 30 minutes. And then somebody beating that. 23 or? Yeah, 23 minutes. 23 minutes is the record. I said, wait a minute now. Yeah, I'm going for 22. Huh? Ish. <laughs> yes, ish. And I made the comment, you know, I tagged, tagged Brandon Clark, and I said, uh, he could probably get in like five minutes, I'm thinking. And that's, that's oh, giving him a that couple is, minutes. So. Now I got to try to get in five minutes. I was just trying to get under 22. And this is what, last night when I yeah, contacted and I just, you about it? I just actually posted like an hour ago because I, I had a lot of stuff going on trying to edit, get videos out. And, um, and I... I know people might get mad if they're in the area and I you know, can't make it. I know Matt that comes to a lot yeah, of them. Matt. He uh, he couldn't make it anyway on the weekends because he has a son. Uh, so 
but uh, we're gonna um, attempt. Yeah, attempt this. And well, it's just like a big burger with cheese, right? Well, I think it's and onion rings. I'm, I get to pick onion rings. If, said, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, it's three patties and oh. then five grilled cheese. Well, dang, it's right here in our face. So let's say four half pound patties, eight slices of yellow and white American cheese, eight slices of smoked bacon, stacked between five grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> oh my goodness, thirty dollar finish this bad. Okay, it's thirty dollars. Or if you finish this, it's free. It's free. Um, you can pick fries, tater tots, or onion rings. And guess what I chose, folks? Yes. Oh, no. Yep. Ding, ding, ding on your rings. So uh, it's at the tenth inning, and you get a tenth inning T-shirt. I beat the show stopper. Um, we will also add your picture to the Hall of Fame. So hopefully, uh, it's not the Hall of Shame because usually people put the Hall of yeah. Shame like near the bathroom. Yeah, it's kind of like the Walk of Shame, right? Yeah. Now. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. So hopefully the onion rings are really delicious. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna try to go under ten. I don't know five, maybe five. Yeah, give yourself a few minutes. Yeah, I might. It's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. Time change, you know, the stomach it, maybe off. Maybe yeah, we got a lot of excuses. So, um, other than that, I don't know um, what else to say. But hell, I'm hungry. So we'll see you guys um, inside because we're going to, I guess they got to watch us eat it so I don't put it in my my, my man purse, my pockets here. It's going to be a food so, challenge brunch. Yep. So, all right, guys. We will see you guys in a little bit. And I thank you guys for showing up. Do you want to be on camera? Okay. All right, bam. Okay. And she works at a CC's around the area. She saw, that's where she saw me at, eating a lot of food. <laughs> so what did you tell your dad when you saw this guy? I'm saying like, um... There's this man who came to the CC's. He has stocked up the whole <laughs> table. Like, nobody usually food. does that? No. Huh, Not just, just one me. person. <laughs> huh, just me. I, I, I put all the, I, I, sometimes it's a bad thing because some places say, hey, we don't want you uh, putting 20 plates of food on the table out, but I do it because I don't want to eat. It takes 30 seconds for one plate or 45 seconds and you got to keep getting up. So that's why I do it. Um, and an icebreaker. So when they talk about, hey, uh, what are you doing? You know, I can yeah, show yes. my card and stuff. So, all right, guys. Well, out of here. I appreciate them for uh, showing up, and we're going to get inside in a sec and start this uh, food challenge. Okay, just got out of there um, doing the challenge. If you want to see that video, it'll be out in the near future. Um, it's called the 10th Inning Bar and Grill um, in South Haven, Mississippi. Uh, we're headed to, uh, I think, Walmart now, or are you going to go back home? You got a headache? You said we was going to... Oh, UPS. UPS store. Drop that off. But uh, we're gonna start this car, get this air circulating, let's get a little Wait stuff a in here. What? It was saying, uh, out here when you cut it off. What happened? It was like a sound, something was making a sound. Uh -oh. She's hearing voices. She said, I'm crazy. But you are. Okay, well, let's get crazy and go to UPS store. And then uh, figure out what else we're gonna do. Got anything you, to say? You said Walmart. Yeah. Well, I said that earlier. Anything <laughs> else other than that today? Well, if 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 we do, you know, you'll see it because I got to take a video of it. See ya. Gotta go. We'll pull up to the UPS store. I don't know what I looked up on the internet, but it said it was open 12 p.m. on Sundays, which I was like, wow, they're open on Sundays. 
Well, no. They are not. They are freaking closed. So, uh, I guess we're gonna come back tomorrow at 8 a.m. Luxury problems. What? Recording you. <laughs> <laughs> See her attitude, and I got it on tape. That no, was I'm just talking that to was you when you just staring at me. So I'm like, what? 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 Anyway, you want to go to the academy while we are here? We might as well go to the academy since we don't got a UPS footage. We might as well go to the academy. Let's do that. My birthday's coming up. Yeah, I might buy him a boat. Fix your mail. right out front for us this is a lot better than the boat we looked at and it has a front part up there yeah i like this one fits the back of my truck it's only 829 only happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday to me okay i don't know why is that 50 dollars more for the 10. pelican predator boat it's a pelican predator so you can shoot pelicans if you got that boat? Huh? You can shoot pelicans if you got that boat, I guess. Pelican Predator. And I'll be like, hey, um, Academy said we could do it. These are both the same ones, though. No. This one looks a little low on the bottom. Or no? Yeah, but four it's foot seen. difference. It's not four foot difference on there. I'm about four foot. No, but look how wide it is. I guess it is. She didn't hear that. Okay, well, we're not even in the store yet, and we're already stopped. Yeah, I would rather get this than the boat we saw that was rusty. You didn't get to see it on the last vlog because he didn't want any cameras in his yard. So, that didn't happen. I really like this one. Let's go inside and see if they got anything else inside. Half on the boat? Is that a half on the baby? Okay. Oh, yeah, YouTube, man. You want to be on there? I do vlogs, uh, but I'm a professional eater. You guys got any YouTube? And you, do, you do it? Uh, I do. He it's do. me and my cousin. It's okay. Hall Boys 901. What is it? Hall Boys 901. H-A-L-L? -L? Hall Boys? So you run around the halls? What do you no. do? Oh, <laughs> uh, we just do stupid stuff. Dude, oh, I, hey, you watch my videos. I do stupid stuff all the time. I'll give you my card here, man. I, uh, I'm just vlogging here. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Let me hand these cards out real quick. Yeah? Catfish? Yeah. Okay, guys. I got catfished. <laughs> well, she picked that up first. That's what I was thinking, catfish, okay? Sorry, bass people. Sorry. <laughs> Just insulted you, slapped in the face like I did with the, the Lent sandwiches the catholic thing my bad people all right let me, let me look for these boats they're over here you get a built in that sounds expensive right because like right like on that one oh wow where the little the black party is in the in the middle yeah i see it, it goes down motor. like the yeah the trolley motor going hmm. i Can guess you this yeah it looks like it goes down yeah the trolley this motor is waterproof goes. i guess i would think you don't want no hole in your boat <laughs> But I think it would be like, oh, I'm not as hard as I don't think it might be. I really like that one, but uh. Yeah, look at the price. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the price, but I like the, how, how it's designed yeah, like that. Yeah. So the people scared probably like they got a hole in the boat. But, but I think it's waterproof. Like actual trolling motor. I think these are just like the paddles. Like you have to have on this one thing. Oh, okay. I got you. For that price, it hell, it needs to go by itself. We got some oars to go up. Uh, sweet honey iced tea. Did I say it right? For our boat. Instead of sugar honey, it's sweet honey, right? Sugar.
I can't never say it, not sugar honey iced tea up sugar honey iced tea creek. You need some of these, huh? But I feel like the other one. I'm not a fan of that. It was like a, 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 a run down, uh, cheap version of a pontoon boat. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, budget, pontoon on the budget. Okay, I'm not sure if, if somebody saw this already, but uh, you got your thrust and your shaft length. You got to make sure on the on all these motors, you got enough thrust and shaft length. No. You probably need more thrust if you don't have enough shaft length. But if it's pretty much, you don't have to do as what much do do the, thrust. Um, She's changed the subject. Uh, solar power stuff or stuff like that? Um, nah. Like to keep the battery charged, would you get one of these? I don't know. My grandfather had one rigged up in the, the truck that I have. He had it rigged up with another battery, charged that battery all the time. It stayed charged. The boat battery? Yeah. It stayed charged everywhere he went. Okay, let me um, find some other stupid stuff to look at. Yeah. Okay, you want to chop some wood? Look at what you got. Go hatch it. You know that shovel I got? It's uh, a monkey tool. It's an axe tool. A what tool? A monkey tool. Oh. What's the thought I said? It said a monkey tool. I was like, wow. No, I chopped down a tree with it. Oh, yeah? Is this yeah. somebody's front yard? No, in my grandma's backyard. <laughs> Shut up. There ain't none of you. <laughs> That's your deal. Machete. Got a machete here. I, I got one in my truck, in my truck toolbox. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Bigfoot. I bought her a hat with that and, and Bigfoot holding a uh, a flamingo. Bucket toilet seat. Look at these still ideas. My butt's bigger than that and it ain't that big. That's a kitty. That's a kitty pooper. That's the kitty size. The kitty size there. Bucket, so hey, you might well make it comfortable. Yep. Okay, let's get out of here. We did talk to a gentleman that just saw us at the at the tenth inning. Uh, he noticed me already, I guess, because my shirt and my earrings. He didn't notice me because I had a cheese sandwich in my mouth, grilled cheese sandwich. These are expensive, ain't they? Yeah. Golly! I about cried real quick. Look at that. I didn't yeah, know this was the bags are, are $349 for that. You gotta be crazy. You it's can't even most of it is the cooler. It's only this much space in there. It's oh it's only $299. Wow, you gotta be crazy. I need to stand over here and whoever can afford those, I'm gonna see if they just wanna buy stuff from me. If they wanna buy that. Jesus, let me get out of here. We get out this section. This is the high roller section here. <laughs> yep. Gotta go on that note. See you later. Oh, th these are the noodles I was talking about to put on the buckets. You put them around the buckets. Be a little, a little cheaper. A little cheaper than that other little kitty toilet thing. Yep. Almost out of here. I like this store now. Look what they got. Look what they got. Oh, I just got these. Somebody sent me these in the mail. And these in the mail. Those are like the SpongeBob kinds. Okay. 
Oh, I had these too. I don't know if I got a pair of these again or not. These are one my daughter got me for Father's Day at Burn Up. I don't think I have those. The uh, Crocs sent her some of these. They don't have the Jodeci boots in here though. Oh, look at the snake snake skins. And then I got some shoes kind of like this with the holes in it. Whoa, they got... Oh yeah, they got them next to the Nikes. They know what's up. Okay. Now we might be out here. Sorry guys, I lie a lot on Sundays when I see Crocs. Okay, I found one that was open, the UPS store. Uh, the one I looked up last night was this one in South Haven. The one we went to was Olive Branch. So I thought all of them might have been closed and the Google was messed up, but it was uh, apparently, Tasha was messed up. No, it wasn't even nothing to do with her. <laughs> I was like, it's easy to blame it on other people. Yeah. So, but no, this is the South Haven one, South Haven or South Haven, whatever you want to say. Um, but we're here now. This one was open up at noon. I think it's open till five or something. So if you're in the Memphis area, do not go to the Olive Branch on Sunday. They're at church eating fish Lent for Lent. Here's what I do to be a nice guy. I get a cart, but actually you actually test drive the cart while you're going up there to make sure the wheels are good. Just a, what did you say about the car? Keeps talking to, me. I guess keeps talking to you. Shocking, Shocking you? Yeah. Uh -oh. All right, let's head on in here. It's a little windy. I'll talk to you inside. much nut footage in this um, Walmart uh, other than they are out of freezer pops they had a broken pack that was open uh, then I noticed they have a the four pack for 488 but people that don't eat pork they're taking advantage of them which they have everything in the party pack except the beef they don't have the four pack of beef so they know I guess if you're particular and you don't like pork then you'll pay the extra money but like the beef hot dogs are a little bit more expensive than the regular the, with the chicken lips in it. But I do like to get these hamburgers. These are 20 pack for like $9. You get the Angus, you get the Angus pack for like, uh, for like uh, $9, but you only get six to eight of them in the, in the pack with Angus. I am comfortable not, not having Angus. You want some uh, pizza rolls? Bargain shopping. Okay, let's see what else they got. Yeah, I was gonna get my grandmother a gift card, but they don't do uh, gift cards in the self checkout. Uh, they only do it in the lines with the people in it and, and the, the cashiers customer. and customer service, and there's always a big line, so. I guess I'll just give her cash. I mean, I guess that's better than a gift card anyway. I'm not sure. A little less personal, I guess, if you just give cash. Don't know, I'll figure it out when I get it, but I'm gonna let my lovely cashier take care of all of this. She always has a smile. That's why I come to this one here. I'll help her, gotta go.
Okay guys, if you don't put your cart back, you suck. I don't care if it's raining or what, you suck. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna tell on her. She had the door propped open like this. It was hot. In and here. I get in, it's hot, it's stink and it's hot. <laughs> she farted. First time in my life I smell her fart and I don't even, I'm not even curious anymore. Didn't you keep this open? You should open that so a draft goes that way. She thinks it's funny. Me. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. No, she's crying so much it stinks. <laughs> How bad it stinks. Golly, guys. That is messed up. I was going to say nothing happened at Walmart today. Uh, too much happened at Walmart today now. She's over there not going to say nothing like I wasn't going to be able to smell it. She's the only one laughing. <laughs> That sucks. That sucks, people. Here, I'll do this. Jesus. Man. You stay on my breast smell like baloney. That no, that smells like did I just yeah. did, did I do that? That's the yeah. first thing I think. Did I have leak? Yeah. No. Well, she, got, no. Set it no. out in the car. Okay, that's enough guys. One minute and fifteen seconds of, of this talk here. Yeah, when well, you sat down. Hopefully in the we don't have to talk about this anymore. I can like nothing happened over there. It did. <laughs> Bye. The last time we found out why we didn't catch fish over here at Honeydew Lake Park, um, because we were at the wrong spot. There's another spot that they stock, and I guess they didn't stock that that spot over there. That's where they, uh, the kids uh, lost their rocket parachute man. Yeah, the parachute. Been parachuting the, the water. So. Uh, we're gonna to go to the place where there's fish at. We're gonna pull a lot of fish out of here. We should have brought more than two poles a piece, but I do got a telescopic pole. But uh, let me get off this phone while I'm in this park. I don't wanna cool run over all these little kids out here. So. As Tasha saw uh, a duck, she said she never saw an all black duck. They usually, like the white. I guess that's the ugly duckling, and I'm not saying it's just because it's black, folks. It's just a different, it's just different, like me, okay? I have to throttle it down. They said we can only catch five bass and three catfish a piece. So I'm going to let her catch at least one catfish and one bass, but I'll, I'll throw the rest of mine back if I have to. What the hell she back there smiling about? <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff going. Okay, guys, I didn't bring my GoPro out here, because, but uh, I caught a fish so big, I didn't, I didn't know it could fit in this lake. But it was so big that uh, it just got off my hook. I'm fishing with only a 10-pound test, but this, this fish had to be like 100 and something pounds. Yeah, but it, it got loose. I did not get a response out of them. I think they was listening, but they was being incognito listening. They didn't even, didn't even laugh or nothing. So maybe I'll catch... No, I'm gonna catch another crowd in a minute. If I ain't gonna catch a fish, I'm catching some laughs. I know somebody listens to me when I'm trying, I'm not even trying to get somebody to listen to me and they do. Yep, there she goes right there. All right, she has, she has, she has ears like a mouse. <laughs> I'm fishing. Leave me alone. Fishing. Hell, we should have a tripod out here because two, two people, uh, a couple was uh, walking behind us and I made sure to say it when they was walking by and I said, I told Tasha over there, I said, hey, don't worry about if I catch more fish than you and we're going to the same house. And they laughed. And then they asked me what kind of bass was in here. I said, I don't know. But the next time you come around, I'll let you know. Well, I'm going to tell you now, I've already got a couple excuses. There are a lot of people walking around this lake, so I'm pretty sure they're in dead in the middle of this lake because they're scared to be around the bank. And a lot of freaking geese and ducks are out here. Not just ducks and not just geese. Ducks and geese. There's Tasha right over there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people walking around. I don't know if you see them all. I'm going to show you all the people. You got to believe me. There's people out here, okay? And um, dogs barking, they're barking, and that's causing problems. But let me let me go ahead and catch some of these some of these fish before uh, before I leave. Uh, I got like a pole on. You gotta do this, like two fingers in the sky for the sun. The sun. 
me see, I'm gonna show you. If you do this, like, you can't see on here, but you put the sun in the ground, you put three figures, that means the sun's going down in like 15 minutes. Um, that's an old Indian, uh, an Indian thing. So uh, let me uh, let me get out of here, because we only got like four fingers to go. That's what she said. Guys, there's a seat right here, and I'm not even sitting down, but if she don't catch, look at her all the way over there sitting down on the grass. You see her? She's right over there. If she don't catch a fish, she might be having to walk home. That's why I drive, because if I don't catch any fish, I can at least get home, okay? Let me go, I think I got a bite. I look like a fisherman too, I got my backpack. Got my backpack on. And, uh, but if I was a fish, I really wouldn't be where I was, like in that water over there. I think I'll be right here. See where this concrete pad is? I'm gonna be right around there where I could stand on that. If I was a fish, I would be, be right out there. Get down here and see if she made her quota. Made her quota so she could ride back home with me. You catch any fish yet? No. Okay, she's walking home. <laughs> so I said, that's why I drove, so I don't have to catch fish, okay? I'm gonna have to catch a good time, she said. But I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park my, my feet, plant my feet right here and catch the fish in the water right here not over there there's no fish in that water right there because the trees and there's no leaves on those trees so i think the, the fish don't like the scenery if i was a fish i'll be right right along in here so let me go catch these fish i'm talking about i'll show you i can show you better than i can tell you i'm gonna creep up on her she thinks she knows where all the fish are at be real quiet like she is. I think she knows where all the fish are at. Jose Espinosa. Jose uh, Yellow Feather Espinosa. There's some columns over there. I'm going to be fishing over by them columns. <laughs> all right, let's get to fishing. I have to change spots. That water's calm over there though. If I was fish, I'm not sure. It's a little, little like wake right here. I think if I was a fish, I'd be in that shallow water where she's at. Let's see if she tests it out for me. If she does any good over there. I think I found the problem out uh, of this uh, bass lures I'm using. This one's ugly. This, not this. This, this one's ugly. I'm gonna get me a pretty. A pretty lure okay because uh, I think they I think they're digging the pretty lures so this one looks real this is a fish catcher here look at this bottom got the orange bottom too look at that that contrast this is freaking pretty I'm gonna catch a fish with this I'm gonna catch her dinner okay that's what kind of guy I am I'm gonna catch her some, some dinner she's not looking like she's doing too great down there Guys, I know you're not gonna believe this. I'm gonna sit down and tell you this. You don't have to believe me, okay? As long as I know about it. Game warden. I don't want to get him. I don't want to get him in the picture. Uh, but uh, the game warden told me this fish was so big that I had to put it back. Nothing over 150 pound fish over out this lake. They said put it back. So uh, really wish I could get him on camera, but he said he would probably have to take me in, and I'm not trying to do that. All I wanted to do is go fish it. I didn't know there was a limit on how big of a fish, if it's too big to put it back. <sighs> Gotta watch myself. All right, let's go at 150 pounds or less fish. That's what I'm going for now. Okay. Okay, we're on the coconut bridge. <laughs> Every time she sees one of these, she's thinking of uh, me stealing coconuts in Florida. That was just a dramatization. That's for the people, just acting. Yep, you gotta keep it up, that's what she said. Okay guys, um, we're gonna try this other pond on the other side of the lake. I think all the fish over here jumped over there to that lake. Cause if I was them, I wouldn't be in the water right here. I would be over there in that water. 
So let's uh, let's go over there and check that out. Airflack. Airflack. They're lucky we can't go fish over there. It's not even a really a place to fish. It's a lot of a lot of mud and everything. I think the sign is saying no fishing. So uh Honeydew Honeydew Melon Park. Uh, I think they're hiding all the fish over there because they're surely not in this in this water right here. I'm just not trying to catch fish. I don't want her mad at me. That's uh, basically what's happening. I don't want her to get mad at me, so that's how much I care about her. So I just won't catch any fish unless she catches a couple. If she catches a couple, I'm going to at least catch one. So it's up to her, okay? Putting all this on her shoulders. Okay, uh, breaking news. We just found out a secret tunnel. See all that, that tunnel? Right, I can't even show you right. Oh, right there, the three tunnels. It's like Super Mario Brothers. They're all, they all swim in that tunnel. Oh, look, over to there. We're going right over to there. See where Tasha's at? They went under the road into the secret, secret Super Mario Brothers tunnel into this pond. Let me turn this camera around for you in a second. But yes, honeydew. Melon Park. They have a secret Koopa Troopa tunnel, or whatever you want to call them things. Look at that. Bam. Water on this side. Who would have thunk? Let's go catch this fish. This is like one foot deep. It's a golfing hole. <laughs> What's this, a golfing hole? We got some frogs out here. What the hell? I thought that was a secret tunnel. Look. There's a Super Mario Brother tunnel, but they got it capped off right there. Jesus. Let's try. Let's see. Okay, be back with you in a little bit. We're going to fish out here until it gets dark. Okay. Okay, it got dark, but the police came and said we look like the suspects that caught all the fish last time. I said, no, you didn't. No, we didn't. You look at our videos, you will see that we didn't catch anything. But he didn't want to hear none of it, so we have to go. <laughs> It's not even funny. She's laughing. Which way are we going? Straight. I'm so mad. I don't know how to get out of here. All right, guys. Well, we was about to catch a lot of fish. I already knew it, but they was haters, so getting out of their town. They were rolling up the sidewalks, I think. Hey, guys. I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm going to have them all the way from small to 3X. Uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are Canvas. Uh, they are thick. They are soft. The logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed material, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on the Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page, hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos, and hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans.